Hey guys, Brian here. Uh, I thought I'd try my hand at a uh, video cigar review. I haven't done something like that in a while, so uh, and I've got a cigar that I've been meaning to uh, to review, and I just, you know, getting to do a full production written review with the Tower of Burn, it's a, it's a serious undertaking, so I thought I'd try to whip out a quick video for something that, uh, well, before this cigar kind of disappears from the market and becomes irrelevant, if it I don't know. I don't think it has, but uh, that's just my opinion. So I've got the uh, the reunited. Let's see if I get that on camera. Reunited feels so good. Blah blah blah. Anyway, I'm sure that's been that joke's been made to death. Um. So yeah, you uh you what you see here is on the band. You got MPG EPC, and that's because this is a collaboration, which is kind of an unusual thing in the cigar industry between uh, Michael Giannini or Michael Patrick Giannini, hence the P and Ernesto Perez Carrillo, which we know from EPC. So Michael Giannini from Foundry, Ernie from uh, EPC. So the two got together because they worked together in the past at La Gloria Cubana before uh, before he moved on to uh, found uh, EPC Cigars. And uh, so yeah, we're it's a it's a it's a pretty uh, it's a, eh, a little rustic kind of a pretty stout cigar. I mean, I guess not by today's standards with uh, the 70 ring gauges anymore but uh, so it's like a six and a half by 54 which I think it's a pretty uh, pretty significant sized Toro-ish type of cigar pretty dark wrapper fair, a fair number of uh, yeah finer veins some some bigger veins little lumps from those veins under the uh, under the wrapper I don't get it in this one I've smoked a few of these and I have found some of them have soft spots typically near the band this one does not seem to be too bad, so that's good. It's a little hard but near the band, but that may not mean anything. I haven't had any draw problems in any of the ones I've had up to this point. So let's see, what else do we need to cover? Um, of, co of course, this is limited edition. It was uh, 1,500 boxes of 10, and it went on sa sale late April-ish, May-ish. Um, yeah, and uh, I think it's around ten dollars MSRP. Not a hundred percent sure on that. Didn't seem to be indicated in any any of the stuff I read online. Uh, about a hundred dollars a box because they're boxes of ten. Let's see here, and it's a it's a collaboration, so that it, both parties supplied uh, some tobacco for this. So you've got the wrapper, which is a uh, very uh, interesting eighth priming Ecuador Havana leaf, uh, grown by the Oliva Tobacco Company, which was uh, supplied by General. Uh, a Connecticut binder from EPC, uh, Dominican piloto cubano from Dominic uh, from General, and uh, Nicaraguan from uh, Ernesto Perez Carrillo. So I think that covers most of it. Uh, do 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 limited edition. Yep, that's about it. So uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'll I will light it up and we'll start talking about the important parts, what it tastes like, and everything else. Okay, so I've gotten it lit, and uh, it smoked a little ways in. Uh, thought I'd come in and chime in on what's what's going on with this guy. As you can see, the, the burn's fairly even. Um, it, I found that it tends to vary a little bit. I may need to touch it up later if uh, if history is serves as any indicator of what's going to happen here. Um, it's a lot of flavor, though. I... I this does not even waste time. It just is dumping all kinds of interesting flavor. I've taken notes as I go along. Uh, a little bit of spices, a lot of syrup up front, uh, syrupy sweetness. Um, I'm getting for a while. I was getting some interesting bready, toasty notes, but uh, that's kind of moved on at this point already, and we're not very far into it. Into a kind of a uh, kind of a raisiny sweetness with. Uh, with cedar and, and kind of a hint of cream slash sour cream, which is a really weird, unusual, but kind of complicated uh, thing, which I enjoy actually a lot in this. It's really interesting. And I was thinking about it as I smoke it, and I, I'm thinking that with a cigar like this, based on uh, past experiences, I think you get uh, out of it what you put into it. So it's, I th I'm just really impressed already with it. Um, and I haven't even hardly gone anywhere in it, but uh, yeah, we'll more on that later. I don't want to ramble on just yet, so we'll we'll make this short. We've got a long way to go on this on this beast of a smoke. Okay, I'm back, and I'm a little way into the uh, the second third at this point. Um, so with the burn, it's 
it's been consistently inconsistent, I guess you could say. Uh, it goes from being fairly even to having issues like it has right now, where it's pretty uneven. I have not touched it up, though, and it, it always seems to, uh, to correct. So that, there's that. It's, the ash is a little flaky. It can be a little messy. you got little spiky bits hanging out. But it actually hasn't just fallen off in chunks, which I think when it first came out, it would do a little bit of that. But uh, in terms of flavor, it's been it's been pretty interesting so far. I mean, I enjoyed it right up front, as I commented before. Uh, so we went. It kind of sweet talks you a little bit at the, uh, at the beginning with with all you know the sweetness and the you know raisininess and all that. And it kind of not too far after I got done with the last. Uh, look, little segment there it kind of the pepper started picking up and uh so it just kind of smacks you around so sweet talks you and then smacks you around a little bit um not too bad though uh let's see what i i took a bunch of notes let me see here i, I picked up some you know some tart cherry in it so it kind of moved away from more of the sweet raisin to more of a tart cherry a little kind of earthy um definitely a, a lot of pe pepper and it's been kind of a sweet peppercorn type of flavor and it's been pretty pretty consistently there for the past you know ever since the this I started in with this segment I've gotten a little bit of coffee and chocolate mixed in but I, I gotta tell you right now it's a lot of it really is a lot of sweet pepper a little bit of cedar maybe and yeah I mean that's that's kind of how it's been it's it's been pretty good I I don't think it's gotten a lot of billing that I've seen online that I, there's a there's a fair amount of uh power to this. It's not huge, but uh you know it's you don't really kind of expect it, but you kind of start feeling. It. I I feel a little bit of a kind of a mellow coming on from from smoking this. And I haven't eaten in a little while, but still it's got a little bit of power to it so far. Um that's about that about covers it at this point. Let me see if was there anything else. Do, 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 do. I think that was it. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm thinking with with this uh, cigar in general. I think it's really starting to kind of hit its stride in terms of age. It's been out for a couple of months now, I think, and this has been sitting. I I, I smoked a few when they first came out, and I'm smoking smoking again now after after a while, after a month or two, and uh, it it seems to be improving. So, uh, but. I'll save any more commentary on it until I uh, until I'm closer to being done. Uh, I will say that uh, I had noted earlier that there's a bit of a uh, kind of a firm spot behind the bands, kind of really harder than the rest of it, and I've not had any draw problems at all, which is definitely a positive. So you know, it just it has an interestingly inconsistent feel to it at times. You know, when you're when you're touching it, but uh, yeah, the draw's fine. I, I've I've never had one that was was uh, too firm to to smokes yet. I haven't even had a really tight draw on it. So I think that covers it for now. We will we'll, uh, come back in a bit and uh, wrap it up. Okay, I'm back and uh, getting closer to the end. The uh, the band's off, so we're down to business here. I let the ash go a little bit longer uh, than I typically have. It's as you can see, it's not really strong. But I've gotten some actually pretty s significantly sized ashes that haven't fall fallen off. It's, it's a little flakier than before, though it, it's not. It's it's a little messy, so there is an issue with that. It's it's not as good as it could be in that in that regard. But in terms of flavor, it's still really good. The uh, the pepper is backed off uh, considerably from where it was in the the mid range of the cigar. Uh, now it's kind of it's really layered in terms of flavor. Not too long after, well, I guess it was a eh, little while after I last chimed in. Uh, so the pepper kind of faded off, and it's layers of flavor. It's it kind of like a, I've been getting like a creamy, almost honey and roasted nut flavor to, in at one point towards the beginning, and then underneath it as that fades, I've been getting more of a cedar and and that mi a milder form of those uh, sweet peppercorns that I was getting earlier. So it's kind of it's got layers of of uh, pretty interesting uh, complexity to it. Um, I've also picked up along the way a little bit of caramel, some earthiness to it, 
Let's see what else did I have. Oh, yeah, for a while there was some really uh, intriguing kind of floral notes to it that were really kind of popping when in, in the retro hail. Um, I, I still have yet to uh, relight or touch up. It's actually fairly even. I'm just going to ash this before it winds up in my lap. Um, not so much of that now, but uh, earlier on it was it was pretty nice, pretty floral. Um, and you know, as I was saying earlier with this cigar, um, I think you get out of it like like other interesting higher end. I was thinking like the Davidoff when when Ben and I did the Davidoff. You get what you put into it. If you take your time with this and really uh, appreciate it, um, and this is what you're doing, there's a lot to be gotten out of this. A lot of really great flavor. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty impressed. I, I like this. I I would say it's uh it's it's box worthy. Um, I went when I when it first came out. I lit one up. I smoked it and immediately turned around and went in and bought a box of them. I think that this is a great smoke. I think it's underappreciated. I think that uh, you take your time with it. You're really gonna enjoy yourself. And you know the power I I notice there is it's still there. There's still some power to it. I don't think it's overwhelming. And uh, I think if maybe first thing of the day, you know, empty stomach, it might knock you out a little bit, but it's it's not too bad in that that regard, but I think it would be enough to keep people happy that like the peppery, the powerful smokes. At the same time, there's a lot in here for people who need more than power, they need more than pepper. Um, yeah, I think this is a great smoke, I think, yeah. I don't know what else to say about it, really. So maybe I'll leave it at that. It's it's a great cigar. I recommend it. I think it's worth buying by the box. It's not. It's it's the MSRP is around ten bucks, but I'm seeing it online still available um, for as much as ten dollars less than that, maybe more. And uh, I've seen it in shops, so it's it's limited, but it's still not too hard to come by. So with that, I think I'll uh, I'll, I'll let you go. Thanks for uh, watching. And you know what? If you've had this, let me know what you think of it. Also. If you're enjoying the, this video as an alternative to my uh, Week in Smoke, which I've been doing a lot of, which I do enjoy a lot doing those, uh, yeah, you let me know. But uh, all right, we will uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, long ashes.